Hi, this is Chris Masiello from vitamincm.com, and today we're going to talk about using conditional formatting in Excel to add a little bit of a story to your data. So I have a pretty boring old spreadsheet here that details fruit sales by fruit by day. On its own, this data is informative, but it could be made a little better. So let's see what happens when I highlight all the data in my spreadsheet and I go to this conditional formatting option. So if I click this and I go to the first option, highlight cell rules. So let's say I want to identify any cell that's got higher than 500 units. So if I go to greater than, put the number 500 in, you'll see that anywhere that there were greater than 500 units sold of a particular fruit on that day, they get highlighted red. Now that's the formatting that's set up here. If I wanted, I could make it uh, green or yellow or blue or whatever. I'm gonna use red for this video because it happens to show up really well. Okay, let's say I wanted to try something a little different. If I go to top and bottom rules, I wanna know what were the top 10% of my sales for any fruit on any given day. So I'll select top 10% here, and it will highlight the top 10% of any values in any cells. I could have done the top 10, the top 15. If I wanted to see the top 12 sales, I could have used uh, done it by number, absolute value, or by percentage value. Another interesting way to visualize your data is with data bars. So if I go here, I can pick uh, pretty much any color I want. If I pick blue, you'll notice it fills each of the cells with a blue data bar, and the higher the number is in the cell, the bigger the blue bar is, the smaller the number, the smaller. And if I didn't like blue, I could do green or red or yellow, whatever color I wanted. Now, another nice thing that you can do is you wanna see in relation to the higher and lower values in the cell, some color coding to punch that up. So if I go over here, I can have a three color scale, so red, yellow, and green. And it's not just going to give me red, yellow, and green. It will give me really dark green for the highest ones and really light, light pink for the lowest ones and then shade it uh, accordingly depending on how high or low each individual value is. You can use uh, blue and red and yellow. You can use a two color scale, so fade it from yellow to green. And as you can see, it's all different shades of green depending on how high or low each individual value. And this last option, icon sets, gives you another cool way to look at your data. So instead of just putting a color on your data, you could put a little icon there to tell something about it. So you could have a, an arrow next to it. You could do stop lighting, depending on how high, medium, or low the values are. You could do stop lighting with an icon. So not only do you have red, yellow, and green, you have uh, an exclamation point, a check, or an X inside of each one. You have these cool little uh, data bars here. So if you wanted to have, you know, two, three, four, five bars next to each of your values, you could do that. Uh, so again, lots of pretty cool ways to tell a story with your data. It's not just a bunch of numbers in a grid. It's a nice way that when you hand your report off to somebody else, the numbers and the coloring and the formatting will instantly jump off the page and tell them things about the data without them uh, having to even really study it harder. And when they see the really high values or the really low values, they can then start to analyze the data even further. But it gives them a quick heads up as to what's going on with the data.